Back here in D.C., shot of the nation's capital. Again, it was a nice night in D.C., a nice night for the Eagles with a 27-14 win. Jeremy Huber now joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Teague Moore. Teague, before the matches tonight, we sat down and talked, and I think one of the things she said is, I'd like my big guys maybe to do a little bit better, maybe get those extra points, maybe get a pinfall or two. Yeah. It's kind of what happened tonight. Yeah, we, we uh, I felt like we came out with the fight that we came out with last night but tonight the execution was different and um, uh, I really felt like although we were pushing action like at 125 uh, we didn't execute when we needed to early we got the win in overtime which is which is uh, we were happy to see and then as the match continued forward we ended up finding ways to separate leads and that's a big difference for us when we can go from winning by four to six to eight the energy changes and you could see our guys loosen up a little bit and be willing to to take more opportunities and with more opportunities more points came. How big was Curry's win the way it happened where again that's one second here or there that's a loss as opposed to you get to overtime and he kind of shows his skills there. Yeah it's it was it was a big I could tell on their bench it was a big energy shift because I felt like we, we were we were attacking I think we earned the stalling calls much earlier in the match but it's the referee in my opinion made the right call there late probably could have happened earlier but took it to overtime and then Gage's execution in overtime was big. Um, I think that energy followed into what Sal Profaci was able to do for us. Just a a very good workman's win tonight for Sal. And uh, he got to a number of positions that we've been working on in the room. So uh, that was a, bi a big, exciting moment for me to see some of those things we've talked about in execution. Of course, you're big guys. We talk about them all the time. But I can think a guy who maybe had the biggest win, at least when it came to the reaction from his teammates, Elijah Murphy gets the victory yeah. tonight. The whole bench off their feet as you guys ended the first session with a victory there. Yeah, they, for, for Elijah, he's one of those guys, he's one of the hardest workers in the room, and um, he's been on a long development process, and uh, that's a guy that wants it. Every single day, he wants a way to find a, a win, and uh, tonight, to get his first win out here at home for this season in the way that he did, I'm, I'm really happy for him, very proud of him. And let's talk about the one pinfall. Tim Fitzpatrick comes out after a yeah. close hard-fought match last night gets the quick pinfall victory what did he do right in that match so early in the match he kept he kept uh, he was looking for offense but he was kind of holding himself back on being able to attack all the way through his opponent's hips and once he changed his tie up uh, and was able to find his overhook he exploded right through the shot and when the guy got to his back at first I thought he was gonna roll through but Tim did a really good job of readjusting his weight and his pressure and took him about 30 eight seconds to get there to the fall, but he eventually got it. So it was a huge win for the team. Huge win for the team and huge win for you guys tonight. Got two coming up on the road next week. Lehigh, then Columbia. We wish you luck in both of those. Thank Tate, thanks for joining us. Thank you.